hey guys what's up hello and uh, today we're gonna start with the text to speech converter probably it's going to be some quite good and bad and also a complex one in order to understand the code so let's uh, start with the visual basic 6.0 Let's get started. Now let's go with the design. Most probably people think Visual Basic is dead, but it's not dead. You can do many things. You can bug up the old Windows version. So add three command buttons. We have to start with always with the design now let's add a text box another text box let's align it so we can get a good look Probably I'm doing it a bit hurry or fast because I don't want to elaborate the video time. So making it short, probably it will take some time because it's like a mini project. Add some fonts. Now, I'm gonna change the name, speak, record, and stop. So, what's left? So, we need to add a combo box in order to fetch voices from the system then head scroll horizontal scroll and another head scroll for the speed first one was for pitch this is done now something is missing okay let's add the names voices Okay, let's add a label box and just give them a proper name. Oh, I I want they want deleted. Let me put it down. Okay, now let's add a label boxes. Label boxes are done. So. I mean it's a simple but quite a complex I already said it before I need not worry about the code or anything it's easier to understand I'll probably just a references now let's rename it it's about the pitch another one is about the speed which probably you maybe want it at a higher tone or a lower tone speed probably like you know it right fast forward speeds where is the font where is the font come on there you go let me change it no that's good okay now okay cool mm, 
done everything is done so what's left oh, I have to rename the command names object names probably command speak command record I'm using option record for now command end text file name hsc pitch hsc speed so list engine lst engine that is done about the code referring some API if I start to type the code I mean probably it will take time the video will take longer so just copy paste the code code will be in uh, the description or my blog gamedoper.com I always paste the code in the blog so you can copy it from there so everything is done now what's left mm. we forgot the main thing oh my god mm. So we need to add a reference probably for the speed synthesis. It's main because it depends on that project. So go to project. Sorry, not references. Components. Controls. Browse. Go back to Windows. Windows and speech. Speech, speech, speech. Yeah, got it. Now go to all files. There you go. xvoice.tll. That's important. Close it. So that's the main thing of the project. I mean, you really need to have the DLL file. So in order to work. So now we added that direct reference, speech synthesis reference. If the file is missing on your computer or uh, your system so I'll also provide the DLL download link so make sure you download the file and just add a reference to it link is in description below please check so what else is left let me check Mm. let's paste the code probably it will not work because if you paste the code directly there might be some errors so this is an API reference the first line private declare function so what should I do go to add-in manager API viewer loader ok so you need to load a text file with a lot of APIs. Look for text out. Text out. Yeah, got it. So you need to choose private, add, then insert the code. That is how code has been added over there. So I already added the code, I need to exit it. Another thing these are just some code about the back color of the buttons probably it might not work we have not enabled it so it should work but 
I haven't made any changes in the properties. Let's save the project. Oh man, the voices are missing. I miss. What's wrong? Can you guess it? Missing voice. Not why we'll do it. This is all right. It's a simple thing. So I just didn't add that object over there. So in order to make it work. now where is that okay please make sure you change the name to direct ss once you add the object to your form make sure it uh, it is named correctly okay now it's been added what else let's run the project so the voices are there mm, hello let's make it work let's try it hello whatsapp youtube hello whatsapp ah, it's working bro let me stop it Increase the volume a bit. What's going on? Uh, okay, let's change the voice and just give it a try. Hello, amigos. Hello, amigos. Probably it's because of the pitch and the speed. We have not changed it. Laughing out loud. It's working. Wow. Now, let me do something else. So please subscribe for more videos. like this visual basic is not dead <laughs> so let's run that please subscribe for more videos like this visual basic is not dead laughing out loud look at the lips where there is a tongue okay let's check with the record i hope it works no it's not working fuck that I think I missed something again oh my god I miss a lot of things so we missed something again so what was that probably it was an option button not a command button because I didn't uh, the code it is mentioned it is an option record so I screwed things up again let's change the style now let's go to the properties and change the style again so where is that yeah graphical now it's good let's change the font where the hell is the font come on where are you yeah gotcha done done 
so that is a location my sound dot web hello dipshits sorry so once you hit the record button it's going to record it record the text and synthesis it now let's go to the location where are you gotcha it's working phew it's working kind of weird code is in description below make sure please check it out about the voice voices i mean uh, so these are the voices like in it will fetch according to your system default i had some default voices which i downloaded online so i get extra voices you can you may get some few voices which is default like mary all that stuff thank you for watching please subscribe subscribe for more videos yeah i know it's subscribe Thank you.